not make for a two versions is it possible so we made uh, we made three ah. versions of the film sir so, so we have a 4 hour 19 minute version which is hitting the festivals now we also have a 3 hour version we are trying to get it at 2 hour and 45 minutes so i still have to go back and edit we also have a uh, the 4 hour 19 minute version is also split into six episodes okay. so when we have the ott thing we'd like them to watch it in parts so that they can enjoy the film as well so thank you sir. thank you anybody hi uh, i have a question for sumaina so uh, initially this film uh, swati mutina malehani was uh, the initial main cast was the main producer itself so from there it was a shift from uh, ramya to a uh, new artist so when this transition took place and probably you want to put out the film uh, in front of public and make this change how challenging was it to face that scenario i want to know that it wasn't challenging at all we have a fantastic performer with c ravi kumar <coughs> sir who know sir has worked with and uh, siri is not a newcomer siri has been working in the industry for a, for probably half a decade she's been part of some kickass films and she has carried our film beautifully on her shoulders and it was amazing for us Okay. If there are no questions, no more questions. Um. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Please. My colleague. Hello, sir. I am Shashank Mali. So, being an independent filmmaker. so how we can connect with the producers and how what can help us that uh, we can showcase our film in the theaters or on ott platforms how we can go through that process uh, being a independent film like that yeah this answer uh, this question can be answered by shrikant or uh, atreya yeah anyone can answer for that matter yeah hi i am sorry i didn't get your name shashank hi shashank so first of all uh, you being here itself is the first step so i think i've already taken the first step so being out there i mean don't think i mean we are an independent filmmaker how to connect what to connect i mean you we are here so have you been coming to the festival for the last few days so you you meeting people i mean and i think in being an independent filmmaker uh, if you already say you're a filmmaker that means you already have a team you already have a dop you already have a editor you already have a few people so that's how it is i mean once you're doing this film you start meeting new people you start pitching your scripts you start talking to them and as and when it happens even i had no idea but and i have no idea how i'm sitting here today also so that happens i mean it will keep happening so what you have to do is you have to keep working you have to keep working don't think about when i'm going to make a big film or when i'm going to release it in theaters when i'm going to see uh, the success don't worry about that just trust the process and keep doing films keep meeting people through your work is where you'll meet people i mean and things will automatically i mean it will happen and once you know that i mean uh, preparation is i mean uh, really important when an opportunity comes to you you have to be prepared so otherwise it's as good as losing that opportunity so once you are there in that space once you're working once you're meeting people things will start falling into place so you have to be out there you have to keep working that's the one i like to that point do you receive calls from personal uh, loan people and uh, you know <laughs> so you have to be that person <laughs> hi uh, i have a question to the director of chhatrapati hi sushant so uh, as a film director at the initial stage when you had this idea and you want to pitch to uh, actors artists and uh, all others your film as i have seen is a content oriented uh, movie i watched the premiere show again here like 3 to 4 times every time i see the film the last moment of your film we get goosebumps when we are out of the theater that's for sure so uh, when it comes to a content oriented cinema at the initial stage when you want to pitch it to probably a producer or even a uh, artist how challenging was it to you at that point of time and now uh, 
how is the response that uh, how many other producers are coming and telling i want to do a film with you what is that transition how do you feel about that uh, thank you for the appreciation <clears throat> uh, it was very challenging because uh, i didn't work anywhere in the industry as assistant director or associate director i was working for a corporate company and i was straight away <laughs> Uh, into uh, direction but what uh, really connected with the lead artist like achyut sir or navin shankar or even for that matter archana joy is krishna herbale sir is the core idea of the uh, cinema when they got the narration uh, uh, it was uh, really funny that i got only 15 minutes or half an hour of their time but when i started narrating it went for 3 to 4 hours even more than that Uh, i still remember uh, when i went to narrate it to navin shankar uh, we uh, after narration we started discussing about the agrarian aspects for about 4 to 5 hours the moment uh, the story uh, element or the intention of the cinema gets connected to the uh, lead artist then they are, they go all out to help you out and that's what has exactly happened with kshetrapati and after doing this cinema and uh, receiving uh, such a good response Uh, it becomes little easy now uh, that whenever i call i say i am the director of shetrapati and that is uh, that, that will that will help me to open the uh, doors uh, we have another uh, press conference after this can you give a closing note on three phase fifty <coughs> you have a question yeah. yeah please go ahead hello everyone it's a nice time to see you all together actually i came here with my students so i teach film making to them and i show world cinema and all and i'm also filmmaker so my just a very uh, it's like out of context question like students also want to know the like after passing out okay from film institute or something so they ask me like so like you're making film and you're earning also so how you do that like do you all when you start your first venture in like making films or any independent any feature film so what was it like like the producer has paid you like for your surviving and you know and <laughs> or you were doing we job the, we and the question we got to everyone will answer the question yeah so in my case uh, i have never been to any film school i have not assisted anybody so i had this filmy kira since my childhood days since my schooling time only i used to do theaters i used to direct plays and uh, the day i decided i wanted to be a filmmaker and nothing else could work in favor for me because i wanted to tell stories i wanted to be a storyteller so the first step i took i did a short film so that helped me a lot that set the practical ground and uh, i took loan from my parents as in i took my mom's jewelry and i did my first short film called the sixth element it got an ed pack nomination then i did my film called up back to it travel the literally the it had a very good festival run and uh, the journey continued i this deep fridge is my fourth film and my other films are all on ott so yeah it just it's just that uh, you have to be very passionate the main thing is that passion you have to be passionate you can't just uh, give up you have to be every day is a struggle for every one of us here actually i always tell others that it's when whenever they tell me they are you still struggling and every day every new film is a <laughs> like my first film the struggle is on and on so it's a lifelong process and i personally feel from my aspect i want to tell my stories in my own way so now since of these booming otts i can tell about my region my west bengal so there is you have to fit in you have to make three songs three gana dal do do this do that but and and when i make a film i don't personally think about it as a festival film or any kind of this mainstream film every film is a commercial film commerce is involved in every film money is involved in every film so i do films from my heart the one the stories i want to tell and if it's laugh my first film got a festival run my this film is getting a festival run so if it's if i'm lucky enough to it cracks the festival scene it's like that i've won the film fair award also so it's just that i'm gone the mainstream also i'm just not set into any tip, any separate it's, i think film is for everybody it's not i don't segregate films there are only good there are only yeah you can say there are kind of mainstream films and those are a bit different so it's like that and you have to be passionate that's the thing that keep you on yeah i just want to add one thing people <laughs> say that award cinema festival cinema and commercial cinema art cinema 
in my opinion there are only two kinds of film good film bad film i didn't want to say that but no. <laughs> <laughs> So once again, I'll just answer one thing. Sir, um, like you asked me, uh, I'm a film school graduate. So I did my editing and sound design and I did my film direction there. Uh, see, after that, I the only thing I did was I didn't have, like I, I needed to make a living because I can't afford to sit and dream about going to make my film. I never know when I'll go, I'll be making my film. So what I did was I worked for three years in television. I shot a lot of documentaries. I made a lot of... I made decent money and I started a small production company where uh, we do ad films, corporate films, we still do it. We still have a lot of good clients with us. Uh, and uh, now what happens is my, the, the guys who assisted me in my film, so they are all working in my company, so they, they are able to draw a good salary till I make the next film. So I think it's important that you have some uh, working experience or the other because in Nangal, I wrote it. I directed it, I shot it, I edited it, I was also the executive producer. That only happened because of my company. Because at one point, when you need to make a little more money, uh, you know that if you call a DOP, you need to pay him whatever, 10,000, 15,000 or whatever. Because I needed that money, I decided, okay, let me take the risk and shoot. So what happened was, you st I started falling in love with shooting also. So, uh, like, when I think back of the, uh, it's been like uh, nine years since I'm, since I'm running my company, it's the greatest thing I've done because a lot of struggle, a lot of some, some months you don't have, you, I mean you make zero money, a few months you make decent money, but uh, the, the only point is, like even now I do that is I keep shooting whenever I get an opportunity, small, big, feature film, documentary, sometimes interviews, whatever comes your way, I just keep shooting. So there is nothing like a big thing or a small thing for me, so just that much. Um, um, uh, starting I decide to uh, targeted to uh, OTT or festivals and then but target to Kelo films na naan, uh, probably naan, uh, work uh, the Maddali, we had done Akaradatri Madhvi, Ranganayaki, Triumba Kamantala on the commercial cinemas Madhvi. Other than on the Sodi TV, TV gay, um, satellite channels, Gala But uh, either on the experimental films Madhaga in the initial stage only, we target, okay, this segment is going to be a good thing to decide what it's in master. Okay. Should I close the conference? Yes. In the extra session, I'll answer. Yeah. You good film and bad film. It's a wrong uh, approach. It's a wrong 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 approach. It's we should not make films for only awards. It's a wrong statement. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. I am Gayatri. Uh, work in uh, judge, I am ex, ex judgment writer in judicial department. I am I am ex judgment writer in judicial department. Just I wanted to say only one thing regarding Nangal film. Yeah, he is very, yeah, that filmmaker is very courageous, I think, because I don't know how to, uh, how he, you know, I want to see the film, I am very curious to see the film, how how the film is successful in watching, see one in watching that film, uh, how it, it is uh, successful, and holding a person to move, to see the film for, for 4 hours and 19 minutes, uh, without getting up at, and without going, moving, without moving out, you know, each and every moment is very important. You know, uh, that I appreciate his courage and I want to see the film previously. Anyhow. Yeah, that, is, that is the confidence of the director. Yeah, 100% I appreciate it. <laughs> because very different, you know. Uh, Ma'am, thank you for that. It's playing today at 7 o'clock. So please watch the film and let yeah, me know if it works. Definitely, I want to see it. Thank you, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. With, this, with that note, uh, we conclude this uh, press conference. Thank you for attending the press conference. I request all of you to attend tomorrow's 
program evening at banquet time. Please collect the invitations. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll continue. I will sit here only. No, 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 no. Still, uh, the press conference continue with the other guests. Please stay back. <laughs>